Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Esther chapter 4, and we're covering an incredibly popular verse this time. I don't normally sway towards the popular verses, I just kind of sway towards whatever, usually whatever just really hits me in a chapter, but this verse, it, it hits me a lot. I really love this verse. So this one, I'm going to go for the more popular verse, uh, the more popular approach. So hopefully that doesn't turn anybody off or turn anyone away. It really is a solid, solid story with a solid, solid verse. So Haman's gone nuts, and he said, death to all Jews. Pretty pie. And <laughs> I'm not comparing pretty pie to Haman, even though they both said death to all Jews. Anyway, <laughs> good gosh, <laughs> I did not mean to segue into that. So Esther and Mordecai are communicating to, through a guy called Hathach because Mordecai can't just walk into the queen's chamber for obvious reasons. In fact, he can't even walk into the king's court because he is wearing sackcloth. That's mentioned back in doo -doo -doo -doo, verse 2. So they're talking to each other back and forth between Hathach. I'm pretty sure he was a eunuch. And so Mordecai's like, hey, Esther, talk to the king. Tell him this is crazy. Death to all Jews is a bad idea. Um, oh my, I can't get that video out of my head. So starting at verse 10, trying to get on track here. Then Esther spoke to Hathach and gave him a command from Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that any man or woman who goes into the inner court to the king who has not been called, he has but one law, put all to death except the one to whom the king holds out the golden scepter, that he may live. Yet I myself have not been called to go into the king these 30 days. So they told Mordecai Esther's words. So, very simple. You go into the king's court unless he grants you special permission by extending this golden scepter. You die. Automatically. No questions asked. No words exchanged. Obviously, that's a very scary thing. And apparently that did include the queen. Um, even all of his wives. No exception. You don't just walk into the king's chamber. My gosh, I'm just like, I, th <laughs> I think about some of the bad relationships that I've heard of here in America. I've never heard of anything like, you know, woman, you come near me when I have not beckoned to you and you will die. I mean, that's just, that is such another level altogether. So very, very scary. Probably king's decorum and whatnot. Still pretty ridiculous that the queen's not an exception and his wives aren't exceptions. Anyway, their culture, their time. Verse 13, And Mordecai told them to answer Esther, Do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. For such a time as this. That is an incredibly popular catchphrase in the church among Christians, and it comes from an amazing story, um, which is pretty much made famous by Esther's reply. Verse 15, Then Esther told him to reply to Mordecai, Go, gather all the Jews who are present in Shushan, and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise, and so I will go to the king which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So she's willing to risk it all to do what's right. I don't think that really needs any further commentary. Yeah, <laughs> Esther was an amazing woman. And Mordecai's words came across really harshly, but he's right. You can't escape God's judgment by taking the easy way out. And God will protect his people one way or the other. Even if you don't do what you should and the church has to suffer for it, and some people you know, end up getting sidetracked, um, backsliding, or even perishing. Ultimately, the church will prevail, God will prevail, he'll save his people, and he'll punish the people who didn't do right at the time they should have done it. And the only answer really is the scary answer to risk it all for such a time as this. So, lots lots of stuff to think on there. I, it's pretty obvious why it's such a popular thing in the church, and I think the church was right to make this popular. It's, a, it's an amazingly epic story with an amazingly epic answer. Which will have an amazingly epic conclusion coming up in the next few days. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless. Life to all Jews.